Who is this man? Just for the fun of it, watch. Well, he's Bill Stanton. Got the cops around here a lot. And he's stealing this car, breaking into this house, and luring these kids for one reason. I think we all need a wake-up call. I'm looking around, I'm looking at people holding their bags. He uh, says Americans are in more danger than so they need to be. More vulnerable, he says, because some simple rules test, aren't followed. And Stanton has found his own way to teach us how to be safer. Ring that bell and see what's going on and to step up for your kids, for yourself, for your property, and for your neighbor's property. Bill Stanton has his own ideas on how to tackle the problems of personal security. I need you to admit to me what you did. Some of his methods may seem unrealistic or unorthodox, but Stanton says he's not showing us anything thieves don't already know. You may have seen him on the Today Show as a paid NBC security consultant. Oh, showing how easy it is to snatch a child. It's going to be about $34,000. Or getting conned by crooked fortune tellers. Why would you prey upon my weakness? Tonight. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, boy. The world, according to Bill Stanton can't be ripping people off like that. Who says too many Americans don't know a crime when they see it, and all too many don't call police when they do. People stepping up is the exception, not the rule. And more people need to step up in every capacity. And Stanton makes no apologies for how he illustrates what he thinks is apathy when it comes to preventing crime. Ever scare you how easy it is for you to do a con? No. No, no, no. It's, it comes so naturally to you. You turn on that smile, man, and I bet I you can get whatever you want. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a bad guy here. You know, I, I mean, well, I think we're doing God's work. His story begins in 1987, when just three years after becoming a New York City police officer, Stanton was chasing a burglar on a routine call. He fell and learned the hard way that real life cops can't jump the way they do on TV. And I severed the tendons and nerves in my trigger finger. It almost uh, amputated the whole, this whole part of my hand right here. Stanton left the police department, opened a private investigation agency, and became a personal bodyguard. At the same time, Stanton was a bouncer at trendy nightclubs and after hobnobbing with celebrities, decided he wanted to be one himself. I'm rolling with the big boys, Bruce Willis, Chaka Khan, Stallone. He became known as Wild Bill. That character that he created ended up on the cover of New York Magazine. How many people picked up that magazine and said, Stanton? How did he get on the cover of New York Magazine? A lot of people in my, in my side of the business, private investigators, you know, bitching and moaning, to how did he get on the cover? And my reply is, Britney Spears doesn't have the best voice in pop music either. <laughs> it's the whole thing. It's the whole game. But in the end, Stanton says it isn't just about show business or fame. He says his mission is simple to keep us alert to the hazards that surround us. How is television a tool in this mission? I am affecting more people on one segment than I would as a lifetime as a cop. So get ready for a wild ride. 